And that is a wrap today for this video. Thank you so very much for joining us, guys. We was able to build this smaller cage in under 10 seconds. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. This is Raf. Peace out. And I'm just kidding. We're going to go ahead and rewind the video for you. And I'll explain and show to you guys today how I built my smaller cage setup and basically one-on-one -on -one basics on how to go about doing a small rig cage, tilted cage, whatever you want to do. So, all right, let's go ahead and rewind it back. Now you may be asking yourself, you know, you may be curious, where do I start? Where do I even begin with small rig, tilta, this and that, any cage setup? Well, the first thing you want to start off with, of course, is the foundation. And of course, camera, of course. So hopefully you have your camera all set. Uh, we're, today we're going to go ahead and start working with a lot of our small rig products. We have a lot of small rig here at our store. And if you ever have any questions, suggestions and whatnot, feel free to ask us. You can give us a call, shoot us an email, this and that, and we'll be more than happy to kind of assist you on your way towards uh, building a rig system. So first up, of course, is the foundation. I have the Canon EOS R6 camera. Uh, does me wonders and uh, I've been getting into a lot of video work here in town so um, ever since I've been starting to do video it's kind of a little iffy kind of shooting with just this right here um, so getting a cage is a really good foundation in helping protect your camera system from any bumps or any you know tough uh, situations so first up base foundation get yourself a cage this one right here in particular is the black mamba cage for r5 and r6 in particular it's a really great system uh, if you're wanting to, uh, you know, kit out your, your setup pretty much and also protect it as well too. The Black Mamba in particular is carbon fiber, which is great. So it's nice and light. <laughs> looks like a little race car, I guess, as I like to tell, tell people because, you know, carbon fiber. But, uh, you know, as you can see, I've already put all my Peak Design hooks on there. So she's ready to rock. So yeah, let's go ahead and put it on real easy peasy. And that's always going to be the thing. Some people like to, <laughs> I've talked to a lot of customers that just buy stuff separately. Like, oh, I'm just going to get this first. Always start with the foundation, start with the cage. There's no point in getting a handle if you're, if it's just going to sit there, <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, the cage will do you wonders. So at this point, you know, um, say for example, I want to put it on this actual shoulder mount system or this and that. Uh, that opens up your possibilities. It's not, your possibilities aren't going to open up unless you get a cage. So start with a cage. Super simple, super duper easy. Okay, next up from there, um, you know, sky's the limit. So uh, the Black Mamba cage also comes with the handle, top mount handle. Uh, this right here, this is your Ari pin system. This is how you can tell, because it's gonna have two pins on the side. So the Ari pins are really great because it helps hold into your, uh, your cage that much more. So it adds an extra support point of stability. Those pins will definitely hold the um, handle or whatever in place to keep it nice and secure. You'll find that a lot in um, handles and on uh, mounts as well too, to tilt swivel mounts for monitors. And we'll get into that here in a little bit. So um, this is what comes with the Black Mamba system. Uh, this is a cable holder for your Black Mamba. Um, there are cable holders for small rig and tilt and all that stuff as well too. This will help hold your HDMI cable in place so it doesn't uh, jiggle around and make you lose interference if you're using a Atomist uh, Shinobi, Ninja, uh, Shogun, you know, etc, etc, whatever monitor you're using pretty much. So very useful. In my case, it kind of takes up a lot of space. I went ahead and took it off and put this uh, what's called a NATO rail. NATO rails are really useful because it adds a lot of modularity within regards to your cage system. So say for example, you want to put a handle here. You don't want to go ahead and put on the uh, cable clamp system. Um, there will be little screw points right there. So you can actually put the screws in to put whatever you want. Say for example, the, um, the cable system. In my case, I went ahead and put a NATO rail so I can do this. Again, sky's the limit. Uh, as long as you can pay for it, right? So. <laughs> So now I got this really fancy, uh, fancy schmancy, really comfy uh, wooden handle. So it'll slide right onto the natal rail right here. Kind of like an Arca Swiss plate, right? Just gonna slide in there. You're gonna secure the system on like so. And bada bing, bada boom. 
you're on your way to having a full cage kit set up just like this guy right here again sky's the limit you can invest in so much into this system it's crazy so in my case i want to keep it super duper simple super duper easy easy so i've got basically most cover most situations covered with this setup right here um you know if i'm wanting to do cradle shots like this uh you know i have my my microphone so if i want to this black mamba rail actually has or this top handle actually has a little system right here to put uh, to secure different mounting points so if you want to put like a you know microphone so you know you want to do that if you want to set it on top of the um the tripod i don't know why i had a moment there uh, if you want to set it on top of the tripod you can uh, another cool thing about cage systems as well too is that the base of the system right here uh, actually is Arca Swiss. So if you wanna go ahead and you have a system that can take Arca Swiss rails and mounts, you can go ahead and slide your camera in no problem. So again, you're, uh, you're basically a little production portable powerhouse on the go, so. Okay. So yeah, uh, the cool thing about this wooden handle as well too, there's also rails. So that's the cool thing about small rig systems is modularity. Um, I love my options, of course. So you can put the handle, the microphone here. So say for example, you want the microphone on the side, like so. Of course, if I had my cable, I'd plug it in here onto the side accordingly. But uh, you can put the microphone there so you can do this. Check it out. Boom. All right. Now we're talking. <laughs> All right, so now I have my microphone off to the side and I have my monitor, my Atomus Ninja 5 monitor here. Great system, shoots uh, 4K 60 frames or records up to 4K 60 frames and you could put a solid state drive. And yeah, that's, uh, yeah, boom, look at that. So again, the sky's the limit in terms of what you want to do. Um, in terms of what I do in terms of production, this is a really great system. Uh, gets the job done for me. So HDMI in, goes in here, plugs into the side right here. Micro, there we are. And bam, bam, wham, thank you, ma'am. That's pretty much how it goes. And uh, this is my cage setup in particular that gets a lot of work done. And of course, you know, gets me paid. So um, yeah, you can rig your setup any way you want from this point onwards. But in this video, I just wanted to go ahead and go over the fundamentals and the basics of what you really need for cages. Again, consider your rails and your mounts. Uh, remember the RE pins are the two pins that are located on the side of handles and screw points to kind of help secure it. Uh, NATO rails is what's going to be helpful to put on like different uh, handles specifically. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, there are top mount NATO rails, side uh, NATO rails, slim profile ones so you can have ease of access, this and that. Um, and in terms of what I have in production, it's going to expand and grow. I'm going to get a solid state drive for my Atomus Ninja 5. And then it's got monitors, so I'll have my headphones on so I can do recordings and do movements as well, just like so. And that's pretty much it. So consider um, the cages that you need. Consider the main foundation, of course, which is the cages, and go from there. Hmm. What else? Other accessories, of course, include the handles. If you do a shoulder mount system, you can go ahead and do that. This guy right here, you know, the matte box is really useful if you want to put in different ND filters for videos as well. Let me put this off to the side here. Whoops. So bring this guy here. There are actually sliding points here that you can access to put in um, uh, variable ND filters. Well, not variable ND, just ND filters, if you will. And ND filters are very useful if you don't want to mess around with your settings for your video, but still have the proper exposure pretty much. So if you want to have slow-mo stuff, this and that. Um, the small rig, and I think Tilta makes it as well too, the mad boxes are really cool because it has different um, mount adapters. So you can put basically your lens on, any lens on there pretty much, and it'll just kind of pop right on and be in the front. So shoulder cannon. <laughs> 
And that's pretty much a wrap for this video. And that's how you build a cage. Um, yeah, that's it. The video's done. Thanks for coming in, guys. And, uh, you know, catch you in the next video. <laughs> Hey, audio check, audio check. We're making YouTube videos. My hair. <laughs> oh my God. Check, check. Hey.